Hey, my name is Shadow Sense, and you're watching Game Dev Tycoon. So, ooh, our uh, interview. In an exclusive interview while a while ago, Matt from Night Flyer Games has made very bold remarks about their then in development game, Turbo Sapien, predicting that it'll be an u that it will be uber successful. Now that the game is out on the market and the consensus is that Matt should have been more careful as the final product doesn't match hype ex expectations. Uh, it had a negative effect on sales. Actually, let's... What score did that? Uh, 7.5? That's not horrible. What is our highest selling game so far? Loaded Revolver did really well. Loaded Revolver and... Dragon's Ultimatum. Wait, can we do sequels now? We can. Is it too early to do a... The sequel to Dragon's Ultimatum, I want that to be like my flagship IP. Um. Fuck it. Uh. Where, where are you? There we are. Dragon's Ultimatum. Okay. We'll make this a medium sized game. Dragon's Ultimatum. Uh. What's like a. Dumb sequel subtitle. Vengeance. There we go. Medieval RPG platform. Let's put it on the PlayStation. Gotta buy the license for that. We'll put it on the Fang engine. With a... 3D graphics. Dragon's Ultimatum is going 3D! Ooh, Turbo Sapiens off the market already at 50,000 sales. Ooh. All right, we'll do uh, simple cutscenes, game tutorials. Okay, um, I will work on the engine stuff. Kyle can do the gameplay. Um, Juan, you're my tech dude. So you can do the stories and quests, which we're going to crank up a lot. Because super important gameplay will take down just a little bit and then the engine can stay where it's at meanwhile uh any generate a game report on what went wrong with turbo sapien it was a superhero game man I, I thought it was gonna be cool but i guess not our post-release analysis of turbo sapien is complete and we got the following results Superheroes in action is a great combo. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important. Additional insights? We should try to focus our entire team on the development of a game. Eh, well. What can you do? Okay. Um, Annie, you do the level design. I feel like that's something she can do. Kyle can do the AI. Because he's uh, real techy. Um, and then... I'll do the dialogue. Um, let's crank the AI up a bit. Take the level design down just a notch. And then I'll crank the dialogues up. Ooh, we're already building hype for our game. That's cool. How well did Turbo Sapien do? 52,000 units. Ooh. It's not good at all. Okay, uh, open world. Um, Kyle, do the sound. Any world design. We'll crank that up. And then, I'll do the graphics? I'll turn them down just a bit. I really want the world to be beautiful, because we're going from 2D on the Game Boy, no less, to 3D on the PlayStation. So, ooh, our tech is way lower than our design. Yeah, well, there we go. Double records, good management. Oh, thank you, game, thank you. I'm proud of myself for that. Did the increase, and he got a raise. Congrats. And I get, can give myself special training, and, and I unlocked a dialogue tree for research. 
Okay, how well did the sequel go? Ooh. A 10? Shit. Another 10? Is this gonna be as good as the original? Another 10. Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. Screenshot. Holy shit. It's all 10s. What the fuck? It's the, it's the perfect game! And it's a sequel! I'm absolutely flabbergasted! Holy shit! Wow! Oh my god! I don't even know how I did that. I don't even know how I did that. Just... Look at that! It's week two of release, and it's almost half a million in sales. Holy shit, dude! Racked up 500k in sales, yeah. Oh my god. Just look at it go up! I have successfully unlocked marketing. It's caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Dragon's Ultimatum Vengeance is one of those rare games that will set a new quality standard for the future. It seems that Netflyer Games has really made gaming history with Dragon's Ultimatum Vengeance. Well done. Oh my god. It's still going up. It's almost at a million. It's at a million. I got a platinum selling game. Oh my god. That's insane. I didn't expect that at all. Yes, I want to go to E3. We're going to show that shit off and just more sales. Assuming it's still on the market. Ooh, actually, we should probably start making a new game. Um, this time we're going to make, let's make a horror game, horror, a an action horror game, whatever, uh, make it for mature audiences. We'll put it on the PlayStation, the Fang engine, and it'll be called the terror. No, let's make it an HP Lovecraft game. Let's do a game adaptation of At the Mountains of Madness. 3D graphics, let's start that up. Can't believe I got a perfect game. That's insane. Alright, Annie, you do the gameplay. Kyle, Engine, I'll work on the story and quest. It's a horror action game, so the story's not going to be that important, but it is HP Lovecraft based. Gameplay will be up, and the engine is not super important in a horror game, I don't think, anyway. Linear story, save game. Uh, yeah, we'll keep all that in. Wow. Dragon's Ultimatum got us a shit ton of money. We're showing off at the Mountains of Madness at E3. Those are some good attendance numbers. 200,000 people, damn. Were we in the top 100? No. That's fine. God, this new game has to be... Has to be good. Alright, Juan, you're not really doing much, so... Dialogues? AI, it's, an, it's a horror action game, so... AI is pretty important. Level design, though. Annie, you can... No, actually, I'm going to put Kyle on level design. And crank it up. There we go. 30, 30,000 fans. That's great. Dragon's Ultimatum Vengeance did so well. 
Heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Yeah, let's do an interview. Great. <laughs> we'll publish the interview next week. Cool. Ooh, this next game really has to be fucking good. It's not going to be open world. Just because it's a horror game. Kyle. Actually, um, I'll do the sound. Juan, you can do the graphics. I think. No. Annie should do graphics. Juan, you can do world design. Crank the graphics up. World design down a bit. Sound up. According to the interview, the company isn't working on its first game targeted at mature players. Matt, owner and CEO of Nightflyer Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk and give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. If only they knew. That's a lot of research points. And Dragon's Ultimatum is off the market. 16 million in sales. Wow. That's a hot fucking game, dude. Alright. There we go. At the Mountains of Madness is ready to go. Alright, how did we do? Release! Juan got a raise. Congrats, Juan. Uh, n spare special offer. No. I'm not gonna sabotage another game company. That's lunacy. Okay. I'm nervous. Oof. Five. Oof. Coming off a smash hit game. That's eh, got seven in there. <laughs> Another five. Or an action is great combo. Thanks, informed gamer. Good game. Okay. It was an alright game. Um Let's get the game report on that. We should research more shit for our engine. And then I'm gonna research a new topic, actually. Because I have an idea. I'm gonna make game dev tycoon in game dev tycoon. So, research. Uh, Juan, what are you doing? You can also do some research, I think. You have better dialogues. I have the money to spend on the research, so... Whatevs. Kyle's looking a little tired, though. Okay. And... Game reports! Right? That's what I made him do. Alright, what went wrong? Sound is important. Yep. No additional insights? Okay, Kyle, go on vacation. You deserve it. We're gonna hire a new employee, and I'm gonna put a million into this budget. Actually, I'm gonna put two million. Just crank that budget all the way up. Complex algorithms. Okay, at the Mountains of Madness isn't doing bad. Responds particularly well to games and new topics. Cool. It's a good thing I researched game dev. Once we hire this new employee, we'll start making game dev tech. Wow. Lots of tech. I guess complex algorithms is tech. Um, I want another girl. Kareen? Hire. There we go. Okay, we gotta give her the uh, staff welcome training. And then, a new game. Medium for everyone this time, not mature. Game dev. Simulation. On the PC, we'll go with the Fang engine, doesn't really matter. And we'll call it, Game Dev Tycoon. 3D graphics V2, or 2D graphics V2, is what I meant. 
Okay, story, not that important. Linear stories, doesn't even need cutscenes. Tutorials in a save game, sure. Juan? Uh, put you on story. I'll put Annie on engine. Corinne? You do, no. Put Kyle in gameplay. Crank the engine up. This is going to be great. Hopefully Game Dev Tycoon does well. Did well in real life. Alright, Juan's going to need a vacation, so is Annie. Okay, um... AI, not important. Dialogues, not important. So, Kyle, you do the... Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit! He's on all three. Uh, I'll do the level design. Uh, Corinne can do the AI. Um, sure. And then I gotta send these two on vacays. They deserve it. They work really hard for me. And I feel like I'm a nice boss. So, hopefully they, uh, they feel the same. Uh, doesn't even need open world. Doesn't even need mono sound. It could be fine with basic sounds, but uh, Corinne, you can do the sound. Kyle can do world design. Juan can do graphics. And almost done. Kinda hope this isn't the game we show off at E3. Alright, let's get rid of them bugs. Ninvento announced their next generation console called the TES64. Expected in the coming months, it's the world's first game console to support 64-bit processors for graphics and audio. Ninvento said that this will allow for never-before-seen never before 3D realism. Okay, Nintendo. Okay. In recent years, the Super TES lost a lot of market share due to modern consoles. Market experts say that the hardware of the TS64 is surely impressive, but express their surprise that it still uses ROM cartridges instead of a much cheaper and higher capacity CD-ROM format. Nevertheless, the TS, the Nintendo 64, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call these companies by their real life names. Seems like an impressive console, and Nintendo has said that it plans to aggressively price it against Sony's PlayStation. Oh shit, the game's out, or game's finished. We put a lot more into tech to th in this game than our last couple of games. Release! Ooh, Easter eggs. Dope. Alright. How well did Game Dev Tycoon do? A 7? Interesting. Another 7? A 9? My voice cracking. And another nine. Two sevens and two nines. That's cool. Do I not unlock an achieve? There it is. Inception. Develop the game within a game. You're welcome. Uh, don't really need a game report on that, do I? Eh, yeah, fuck it. I'll do it. Um, Corinne, let's... How about you research some Easter eggs and wine? Research a level editor. Any... What you thinking about new topics? A pirate game. Yar. Okay. I think we're doing very well. I'm, I didn't expect to have a smash hit game like that. And this is, what, the fifth episode? So, damn. I can't believe that did that well. Perfect across the board. Anyway. Thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.